So now that we have our inner borders done, I bet you can guess what comes next. Hi everyone, Kristen Som here, and we did our inner borders. They are perfect. I think they are so much fun. And I saw one gal in our group, at least one, did pink borders. So pretty. I love that. I kept mine traditional with the yellow and black. I think they look pretty awesome. I love this. It's coming along, right? We're almost done with the top of our quilts. So we are going to do the outer borders today. Um, we have, let's see, not, gosh, not much, to, not much to do. This is incredible. We have the outer borders, the backing, and the binding, and the embellishments, and then we are done with our So Happy Quilt. And then we will start on the other parts of the Oh So Delightful. So let's talk about what we need for our outer borders. It is this dark teal fabric with the navy blue flowers all over it. And these are long, lots of them. Let me tell you exactly how much. So outer borders, we are gonna have two. So by the way, I wanna mention, you need to measure your quilt. I talked about this when we did the inner borders. You need to measure your quilt. So mine came out at 32.5, 32 and a half long and 20 and a half wide. That's the measurement that I have so far. You, you measure it again after you've got your inner borders on, you measure it through the center. Um, and like I said, mine is 32 and a half by 20 and a half. All right, so measure yours to come up with the size that you need for your outer borders. All right, so then like I said, we've got this tea, dark teal with navy flowers on it. And we are gonna have two of them that are three and a half by, let's see here, sorry. How funny, they start with the 35 inch. So two of them are three and a half times width of fabric. Two of them, there we are, there's the long ones, times width of fabric. So three and a half times width of fabric, two of them. And then, and then two of them are three and a half by 35 inches. So it's funny, I actually just cut all of mine. Um, I cut what I had basically. So I have three, looks like three that are with the fabric, three and a half times with the fabric. And then I have two that are three and a half by 35. So don't forget, I mentioned on the prep video, I highly recommend cutting these a little bit longer. That's why I just cut mine um, to the length that I had available because you want to be able to assemble them and then cut them down. It, otherwise they could be just a little bit too short and you don't want that to happen. So a little bit longer goes a long way, all right? And I did back mine with fusible stabilizer. That's optional, but it will help it to not pucker and help it to not tighten up with the stitching and lose length. All right, so three and a half inches wide. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that border, what was it, border hobby one for our quilting. Oh, by the way, I haven't cut my batting yet. We'll go over the batting, but I haven't cut mine yet. Um, so border hobby one, and in three inches, we know we want it three inches and then depending on your hoop size. All right, and I haven't gone through them yet to see how long they are and what will work. I know that we want, I want 32 inches of quilting because my length is 32 inches. So at least 32 inches is what I'm hoping for, um, for the quilting design. Cause I like it to go all the way to the end and without, since we add the the batting on it's not going to matter it's not going to have batting in the seams because we put it down a quarter inch from the top and we measure the batting to be exactly within a quarter inch so that we don't have batting in the seams so like i said i want 32 inches it will depend on your quilt so check the size of yours and then we will go over the batting so since it is what did i say um, 30 inches, I know I want 30 inches long because I'm going to do the sides first. So I want 30 inches long and then we have to add that three inches on each side. So it will be plus six and mine's 20 right now. So I want 26 inches of quilting on the top and the bottom. So I will bring you over to the machine or to the computer and show you um, the different sizes and you can um, determine what will work for your hoop length. Now it's three inches. It's really um, three and a half of the fabric. So we're only gonna be able to fit two in one hooping depending on your hoop size. 
some may only be able to fit one at a time so this will take a little bit of time i was hoping if it's a two and a half inch then you can fit more in one hooping but even then it's really tight so um actually if it were two and a half inches too you still wouldn't be able to get too many so three and a half though we, the most that i i'm sure we can fit is probably two right if we did three it'd be two tight three six nine you could do three of the strips but you're gonna have to do one separately anyway so i'll probably just do two in one hooping um, and double them up so anyway we'll bring you over to the computer so that we can check on um, embroidery software to be able to visualize it and determine what what will work as far as the length and which quilting design um, it's a really cute quilting design did you look at it um, it says so happy and it's got a sewing machine and scissors and super cute super cute so I probably will do a um, thread that will stand out a little bit maybe I'm thinking like maybe a white or a yellow that would be really cute so anyway think about that too what thread color that you want and how much you want it to stand out and let's go ahead and get started Hey everyone, so let's see what we can fit in our hoop for the uh, outer borders. I'm going to open up in Brilliance Essentials. That's the embroidery software that I prefer. And I am on my 6x10 hoop. You can see it down here in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and change this to my 9x14 hoop and start from there. So I went to the preferences folder, click on the hoop size and say OK. And then I'm going to click on this compass button and click H for the hoop. Okay, um, so we're gonna start by bringing in the quilting design. So merge stitch file, and let's see, close up hobby six. We want this border hobby one right there. Embroidery files, Pez is what I use. And we want the three inch. So I'm gonna scroll down here. There's a three by 12, three by 10, three by 14 and three by seven. So I'm gonna start with the three by 14 and see how long it is. It's exactly, look at that, three and a half by 14. That's nice. All right, and we want 32 inches, was it? 32 inches of quilting. So 14, 14, 28, and then do the seven inches after that and that would, that would do it. Um, so depending on your hoop size, um, you just need to see which one fits well with your hoop. So um, I am going to add the batting like we did on the inner borders. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, it even says joy. How fun. All right, um, so you can go ahead and delete this one and two if you are adding the batting on to your borders like we did for the inner borders. You could go ahead and click and drag down for these two and delete them. I'm gonna keep them for those that don't watch this part of the tutorial. I can tell them to bypass it. Um, but you can see the rest of the colors are all different and so there you don't need to change any colors. I am gonna change this first one, that default one blue, that's the only um, one that there's two of. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this first one. So I'm clicking on one one, like I said, you can delete it, but I'm going to keep it. So I'm just gonna change the color so that it won't join. So I changed it to dark aqua. All right, and then I can click on the design. You have to click on the stitching or you can click outside of the workspace and click down from the bottom and drag up, whatever you want but you want to make sure to get all five steps of the quilting or the three steps if you deleted those first two. All right, so I'm going to say control C to copy it and control V like victory to paste it. And it goes right on top. So I click on the stitching and I can move it over to the right hand corner, right hand side. So this will work. Like I said, this would be um, 14 and 14, 28 plus another seven would give us 35. Um, and I want 32 inches. So you could do um, 12, depending on your hoop size, whatever will work for you. Either way, it's gonna be three hoopings to get that full length, all right? So I have my two, I'll do two in one hooping and re-hoop three times, um, So, but this will work. So I'm gonna just make sure it's centered. 
Yep, good enough. And I'm going to do a file. Oh, I'm going to do a color sort first. So we have 10 color steps. We should be able to reduce that utility color sort. And don't forget to make sure that you have the same settings as I do. We still get questions about that, even though I mentioned it in, mention it in every tutorial. So make sure that you have these same settings that I have. And then I'm going to click New View to make sure it did what I want it to do. And we have the, the first two, which is the placement and tack down of the batting. You will not need that if you're adding the batting on like I will. Um, and then we have the placement stitch for our main fabric those strips, the border strips, and then the tack down, and then the quilting design. So cute. I love this one. All right, so that's easy peasy five color steps. So I'm going to go to file, save stitch file as, and I am going to name it, I'm in red, white, and bloom. Whoops. That's what I was working on earlier. So now I'm going to go to Oh So Delightful and to the quilting quilting bundle, double click, and then border hobby one, embroidery files, Pez, and I'm going to save it as, this is the three by 14 times two, because there's two of them, or you could say double or whatever is going to make you remember um, which one that you're looking for. I'll say border two. All right, and save. All right, and then um, I need one of the one by sevens as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. So file new page and open up that one by or not one by seven. Sorry, three by seven. And here. Right there, and this will all line up just right. So we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to click on it and just use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it over. And then just like before, I, I'm going to change this first color, but you can delete it. If you're adding the batting onto your borders, then you don't need step one and two. All right, and then just click on the stitching and say control C to copy and control V like victory to paste. And then you can use your arrow keys to bring it over. And I don't need this big hoop for the, the seven inch. So I'm gonna change this. So actually, I still need it wide enough. So what I'm going to do, I could use my 9 by 9 hoop or an 8 by 8, but there, there will be overlap. So I'm going to go ahead and keep with my 9 by 9 hoop for this. Save a little bit of stabilizer and still have some space in between. It would fit in an 8 by 8. It actually fits... Um, three, six, seven inches. So there will be one inch extra... Um, so there would be just the tiniest bit of overlap, maybe not even any. So you could use your eight by eight. I'm going to go with my nine by nine, keep it simple. And then again, we've got the 10 color steps. So I'm going to do a quick utility color sort and it has changed it with the same settings, new view, and then just real quick placement, tack down, batting placement, tack down of our border strips and the quilting design. So now I'm going to say file, save, stitch, file as, and I'm going to do three by seven times two border. All right. How simple was that? Super easy. So again, if you don't have a 14 inch hoop, you could do the 12 inch, um, I can open that real quick to show you what size it is. New page. And let's see. Scroll down to the 3 by 12 right there. And it obviously doesn't fit in my um, 9 by 9 hoop, but in eight, it looks like it would fit in an 8 by 12. Let's go ahead and just confirm that. There's an 8 by 12. And yes, so it's three and a half by 11 and 11 sixteenths. So you could do two of those. Let's see if I move it over. You would need to change the color, but I'm just going to do a copy and paste paste to see how close it is in an eight inch hoop. This is my eight by 12 hoop. Oops, didn't mean to go down. All right, so you can see we'd have a little, the fabrics would be a little bit close, but definitely very doable. It's not too much, um, 
too much extra fabric. So this would definitely work in an eight by 12. If you have an eight by 12 hoop, you could do two of the one by 12s um, in one hooping. And then you would just do enough that you get the full length of your quilt. Um, and like I said, mine is 32 and a half. So I would want 32 inches of quilting. So that was super easy. My machine's not on, or I would send it to my machine or you can uh, transfer it to a USB stick. So let's go ahead and get started on our outer borders.
And my goal for Oh So Delightful is finding joy and good vibes. And my husband is taking me out of town in a couple weeks. We are going to go to Quarter Lane. So it's like six hours away from here. We'll have a very long drive and he booked a Hiawatha bike ride trail thing, something or other. I'm really excited. I think it'll be really fun to get away. I will not have access to an embroidery machine. I am not going to check um, Facebook messages and all of that. I'm just going to enjoy some time away. So it's the end of the month. So we should be able to hopefully at least get our outer borders done. And then when I get back, let's see, because we need to work on cuties too. If you're doing cuties with me, we're going to start the June cutie soon. So anyway, that will be very joyful. Tell me what you're doing to find joy or whatever it is that you're working on towards your goal. And my shirt today is a tank top. It's one of the cancer tank tops that I made. I embroidered a bunch of tank tops when I was going through my cancer treatments. So they all have some sort of inspirational message on the back. And this one says hope with a pretty flower. I really like this one. I believe I found it on Etsy. I will share the information underneath this video. Mm -hmm.